please, man of God, help me. I can't do nothing at home. I go to the hospitals, but they can't help me. They said I must use this corset for the rest of my life. I can't do chores at home. It's difficult to drive my car. Please, man of God, help me. It is difficult for me to do my sewing to, to help my children. Please, man of God, help me. Help me, man of God. Please help me. I'm using a lumbar corset. I did go to the hospitals, but they can't help me. I go to the doctors, they can't help me. Please, man of God, help me. Help me, man of God. I've got difficulty in walking. Please, man of God, help me. Please, man of God, I've got difficulty in walking. Oui, c'est bon, mais il y a des difficultés à marcher. Il y a une sévère douleur dans ça. Nous voyons les démons cachés derrière sa maladie qui vient de s'exploser. Nous voyons cette femme avec des problèmes de difficulté pour caminer devant la douleur de la espada sévère. Can you imagine someone who could not walk sitting and he could not walk and he was brought here today? Imagine the spirit of God move close and he started fighting. That means the one that cannot walk is not part of you. The one that is sick is not part of you. Say the one that is sick is not part of me. The one that is troubled is not part of me. The one that is worried is not part of me. This is why you should not allow your worry to dissolve your focus. You can be worried, you can be troubled, but your focus should remain. Look at this woman. She was sitting down. She could not walk. She has evidence, medical report. She was brought here today. Because I don't know whether anyone has seen someone who, who could not walk for many years. And suddenly the man of God just gets there. Say, man of God, help me. I, can, I could not walk. I could not talk. I could not walk. And man of God just walked towards him. What are you saying? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> Let's ask her. Come on. Why did you leave the seat? <laughs> No, no, no. You can't deliver her. She must struggle for the rest of no, her life. No, healing has not turned to deliver him. He said, I cannot deliver her. No, he can, I cannot wait for you to touch her. Me, the one inside of her is saying, look, you cannot deliver her. I will not wait for you to touch me. So, and he was crying for healing. Healing has turned to what? Deliverance. Here I come. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the spirit that caused you this problem. Come, you. Not you. I'm looking. Oh, yeah, come. Before I count three. One, two. Oh, yeah, remove it. Remove it yourself. Remove it yourself. Uh -huh. <laughs> Who are you? I'm ancestral spirit. Ancestral spirit. What kind of spirit? She, she doesn't want to, 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 to obey to us. She's supposed to be in some coma for a long time. It, but she doesn't want to. Uh, she's so stubborn. She's so stubborn. She's, she's supposed to be a witch doctor. Oh. But she doesn't want to. Okay. Where are you from? I'm from her mother's side and her father's side. Okay. What have you done? Oh, I destroy her life. She's divorced. She's divorced. She stays with her three children. Yeah? She stays stay with her children because oh. she's so stupid. Okay, okay. No one can marry you. No, 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 no. She can't get married. Okay, she but, can't. Okay. She can't. She's always watching this TV Joshua in her room, and in her lounge. She's watching TV Joshua. You, you, you chain us for a long time. You, 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 you chain us. You want to fight me? Me, fight you. I'm waiting for you. Just come. <laughs> no, it's you who come. You come. You. I say come. Uh -huh. I'm coming. Come. Uh, okay, you fight my back. Okay, come. No, no, no. I can't fight your back. Fire. No. Okay, come here. Come here. One, two, three. Come here. Be on your knee here. And your back on the floor. Straight. On your knee, your back on the floor. Come on, stand up. Stand up. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Alors, la délivrance qui vient de prendre place, gloire à Dieu. Nous la sommes libérés de ce esprit de chaos, ce problème pour caminer. Those things they have deposited in the body is the one coming out now. 
Look here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. The body is lifeless body, okay? Give life to the body. Sometimes when you're trying to carry them, you don't know that they are lifeless. Do you know what happened to you now? No. You say you fight me? No, 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 no. No, no. Okay, thank you. Yeah, walk around. Why are you crying? I've been suffering for a long time. For how long you have been on this uh, predicament, unable to walk? <laughs> for seven years. Oh, oh, yeah, do that and let us see. Thank you, Jesus. 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 My name is Kangelwa Gloria Toto. My age is 42 years. I'm coming from South Africa. The problem that brought me here in school, and, uh, I, di I did have a, a severe back pain. I was using a lumbar corset. So I was using this lumbar corset because the pain was so severe. I couldn't do the things that I used to do, like uh, to clean the house, and cooking to do the things for my children. It was difficult for me because of this back pain. Uh, it affected me big time because I am a fashion designer. So there's nobody that was helping me to do my sewing. I'm doing it by myself. So if I've got an order maybe for 10 dresses, so I have to cut that number. If I used to, I used to finish that 10, it was nothing before. But since of this back pain, I couldn't do more. I have to do everything by myself. It was so difficult for me. So because of this back pain, because even um, this lumbar corset was not helping me that much. It was just supporting me to to, to, to be able to sit straight, but it was, not, it was not taking the pain away. And then I was using also the pain tablets. If I have to, I have to use two tablets, I will use four to try to take the pain away, but it didn't help because I used to go also to the doctors and then they will do the x-rays and then they will say now there's nothing wrong, but the pain is there and then I would like, and then I, there was a time that I end up that I'm not going to the doctors anymore because I'm tired of spending my money and then the money that I'm, I'm, I'm working for, I'm not using for the things that I'm supposed to use for. And then I've decided now it's enough, I'm not gonna, you, I'm not gonna go to the doctors anymore. And then I've decided to come to Scowen because where did I see Scowen? The other friend of mine, I visited her, and then he, she did have this uh, channel. And then our, uh, I see that uh, the testimonies. So when I saw this testimony, it was wonderful for me because I thought that if that man can get help, also this big pain, it's nothing to God. So I can be able to get help also. Uh, when I go to the prayer line, I sit there, and then when man of God was coming next to me, and then I have that because he was just putting a step to come next to me, and then when he was trying to be nearer to me, I did have that anger, that bitterness. I wanted to just to hit him, but I couldn't hit him because there was this light between me and him. I couldn't beat him, and then there was this, uh, I was like scared of him. I couldn't. I couldn't uh, fight him because I was, there was this light and then um, I tried to, I, I ran away. And then after that, I don't know what happened because the only thing that I can remember after that is when the man of God was saying to me, stand up. And then when he was saying to me, I must stand up, my body was so, so light because I don't know since when my body was so light the way I am now. Because my bed, my body was always light, painful, I was always tired. So as I'm standing now here, I can jump, I can dance, I can do whatever, because I couldn't bend. 
I couldn't like lift up my hands uh, freely because I have to adjust myself when I'm doing each and everything that I'm doing. So after my deliverance yesterday and my healing, when I did go to bed, it was like a wow because I slept like a baby because the other lady had to wake me up because I was faster, fast asleep. Indeed, Jesus Christ is the master healer and there is never a sickness Jesus Christ cannot heal. Uh, my advice is this, uh, all people, they must trust God. They must uh, depend on God. Because me, I think I didn't depend to God. I thought I was depending on God. I was depending to myself. Give an advice to the people outside there. It doesn't matter how many problems do you, do you have. Everything to God is possible. Any problem that you have, it's a minor to God. It's nothing. Just come to God and God will do the work. We can see you holding the lumbar corset. What do you want to do with it? Oh, no, no, no. I don't need it anymore. <laughs> yes. Let us put our hands together for Christ Jesus one more time. And to God be the glory. And now, Madam, I want you to please demonstrate to us those things you could not do before that you're able to do now after your healing. Jesus. Yes, we have just witnessed the glory of God in the life of our mother here. And we thank God Almighty for everything that he has done in your life. We thank God and we wish you all the best in Jesus' name.